Most of us who live in the borderland know you don't have to be born and raised here to consider it home. KTSM 9 News reporter Cesar Vasquez tells us the little known story of one legendary artist whose talents earned him the title of the People's Painter. It's tonight's special report. The borderland is rich in centuries worth of history. Much of it has been captured by great artists known around the world, including one whose masterpieces capture struggles that are playing out in our backyard to this day. Great artists are immortal. His love for humanity came out. One of the best in the borderland to pick up a brush. From the poet to the bullfighter, Manuel Acosta painted what was in his backyard. And he always had a subject matter. A world-renowned artist himself, Hal Marcus, is one of Acosta's closest followers, even meeting Acosta as he first started making a name for himself in the art world. Marcus believes those unique pieces could only come from the bristles of Acosta's brush. It's the soul behind the person that, uh, that makes his paintings uh, what they are. And, and you can't teach that. You, you can't even learn that. It's something that, that's a deep passion that comes through in his work because he was a very deep person. Susana Aquilina wrote her thesis on Acosta. She thinks his work shows how he values his roots as an immigrant. He was born in a ditch, right? That his mother was skipping around in the ditch and then went into labor. This was in Chihuahua, right? Via Aldama, Chihuahua was where he was born. And that she went into labor right there and birthed him right there in the ditch. And that it was a, you know, a sense of, uh, a source of immense pride for Acosta. Acosta's down-to-earth nature is also grounded in the people he painted. I asked him, why do you want to paint the people of, of this place? And he said, well, we're just as important as, you know, what you would see in any art museum in Europe or New York. Or, you know, we matter to you. The way he did the skin tones, the way he uh, not only did the face of the artist, but he got the soul of the artist. The, lots of times they are very haunting. Sometimes too haunting. During the workers' rights era in the 60s, Time magazine asked Acosta for a portrait of civil rights icon Cesar Chavez for the magazine's cover. The original painted was rejected for being too serious. And of course, Manuel must have said, like, what? You want me to paint a portrait of a man, a great man, and you, and you want me to make him look not so brown, not so tired? Not so young. A version of Acosta's take on Chavez did make the cover, but instead of future of fame and fortune, the talented artist returned to his humble life, a life that abruptly ended 20 years later as a victim of crime. You know, he was murdered in a very uh, hostile, tragic, violent sort of way, you know, and uh, he was robbed. They say he was killed with a screwdriver. And the day before, he was sad about making his car payments. His legacy lives on through his art and from those who knew him best, with the struggles he so expertly put onto a canvas playing out in present day. You know, really trying to break those stereotypes, those negative stereotypes that people had, right, of Mexican immigrants. And so in that way, right, I think he shares a lot in common with um, People today struggling against um, racism, against white supremacy, against um, all that anti-immigrant hatred. You can still check out many of Acosta's paintings at the Hal Marcus Gallery on the UTEP campus and at the El Paso Museum of Art. Cesar Vasquez, KTSM 9 News. And Cesar, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and check on those winds. It's getting chilly.